The Arctic has captivated and intrigued countless individuals across the last few centuries, and many of whom have dared to challenge Mother Nature head-on and set out to explore the vastness that is the North. These individuals face numerous dangers, such as wind, freezing temperatures, and the Earth itself, with deep pockets of loose snow, boulder fields that slow movement, and the most lethal of them all, thin ice. Thin ice is lethal not on its own right, but because it conceals cold water and massive drops that would incapacitate both man and machine. So a new autonomous technology must be developed in order to protect both man and their mechanical investments. For the better part of the history of Arctic exploration, the transportation of choice has been the dog sled. But over the past few decades, people have developed larger and faster machines that not only better protect the individual themselves, but also provide more comfortable living conditions. But no matter how advanced these machines become, there is still no avoiding the dangers beneath their feet. What these explorers need is a system that allows them to look beyond what they can see and into the ground. Technology is called ground penetrating radar, a technology that is nearly a century old and has been a staple in the military ever since creation. Radar works by sending out sound waves into the ground and then measuring the time and intensity for the waves to return. An operator can then determine different densities of materials at different depths, which is ideal for trying to find and avoid hidden dangers in the ice. There are different methods of using ground penetrating radar, each with varying degrees of usefulness. First, a solo operator could walk across the ice while pushing a ground penetrating radar unit. But this method is not only slow, but dangerous for the operator because they could either trip and fall or break through the ice. Second would be to mount a unit on a vehicle. This greatly increases the speed and comfort for the user, but still runs the risk of falling through the ice. Only this time, the operator is trapped inside a vehicle. The third choice is hiring a ground penetrating radar equipped airplane to fly ahead of the expedition. This greatly increases not only the speed, but also the safety by not having people immediately in danger of falling through the ice. But this is expensive to hire such a plane, and they can only fly in certain weather conditions. A new device needs to be developed that is relatively cheap, reliable, and gives high levels of safety to the operators. That device is known as the 90 degrees south concept from 2005, created by James Moon with help from the British Antarctic Survey. The 90 degrees south is a lightweight, eco-friendly two-person vehicle that comes with a very important device, an unmanned ground vehicle that contains ground penetrating radar. This unmanned ground vehicle, otherwise known as a UGV, is attached to the 90 degrees south by a 30 meter long umbilical cord. This umbilical cord is similar to that used by the Alvin submersible that explored the Titanic. This UGV enables the operators to sit safely in their vehicle and receive data about the ground ahead of them. And if the UGV were to ever break through the ice or fall into the water, the operators could simply retrieve the device using this umbilical cord. The 90 degrees south should be a basis for any future Arctic exploration vehicle. It is small and very lightweight, thus enabling it to be carried easily by plane without disassembly. It is equipped with two fat front tires and one wide track at the rear that evenly distribute the weight of the vehicle, allowing it to travel across loose snow and ice. The vehicle is also environmentally friendly, so it will leave a small human footprint on the otherwise pristine landscape. Arctic exploration is reaching into a new age, an age of efficiency, speed, and most of all, safety. The one technology that will allow explorers to minimize risk while maximizing limited time on expeditions is ground penetrating radar mounted in unmanned ground vehicles such as the 90 degrees south concept. This technology will not only allow operators to maintain high levels of safety but also gather data about what lies beneath their feet.